Hello ladies, hello guys. So today in this video, we'll make a quick presentation of Anaconda. We'll see then how to install Anaconda on Ubuntu 20.04, how to create an environment in Conda and some more comments on how to use Anaconda in common lines. So how to install packages, how to update packages, how to create a YAML file to share the environment with colleagues or other people and uh, how to remove the environment. So what is Anaconda? Anaconda is a cross-platform and package environment manager. It runs under Windows, Mac OS X and Linux. Now you can uh, install and manage Conda packages from Anaconda repository and Anaconda cloud. There are over a thousand packages, mainly for data science, that can be installed with Conda as of today, even 7,500 uh, as it's stated on the website. You can also create environments containing various programs that you will be able afterwards to export and to share. And Conda also enables you to avoid conflicts or incompatibilities between different programs. Conda is very nice for deep learning and data science. So if you're a student or if you're working in those fields, Conda will be very useful. Now, how to install Anaconda? Let's jump into it. So we're on the Anaconda website. We're going to individual edition. We're scrolling down. We'll click on download. And here we want to download Python 3.7 for the 64-bit installer. And let's save this on our computer. Once this is done, we'll go here down the page on help and training and we'll arrive on this page. We'll see the documentation and we'll click on installation. And we want to install this on the Linux. We can click here or here. So I'm clicking here. And now we already downloaded um, the installer. So now we'll verify the Shasam. So to verify the Shasam, we'll click on the link. Um, we want to install this on 64-bit Linux. We'll click here and we'll select this one. And here we have the SHA-256. And we'll compare this with the one of the file. So let's check the one of the file. I'm going in the folder where I downloaded the um, file. SHA-256 sum. And this is Anaconda. This is the name of the file. Here we have it. So we're going to select this. To copy it, we'll put this in a, just in a writer document. We'll copy also this one and we'll do the same. We'll add it in the file document and basically they are matching. So we're returning on the installation page. Now we're doing this. So we'll type this in our terminal bash. We're going again in the folder where we downloaded our file. We're now launching the installation. We'll press enter. So those are the conditions. We'll just choose a location. For me, this is okay where it is. So I'll say yes. And it's installing. So Anaconda is installed. Now we'll verify the installations so we're going to do is do a conda list and to list all the packages that are present in our base environment so here they are we're going to close the terminal and to open a new one and we see that here on the left is written base so we're in the base environment of conda so conda is well installed we can also verify the installation through conda dash dash version and here we have the version of conda now, before installing, we can search with Conda search. We can search the different packages that are available and that we can install in our environment. So here we're searching for Python in the packages, in the name of the packages. So it is searching. And here we have the different packages with Python in the name, versions, and here are the channels through which we can get them. 
We'll take a second example with Canvas Search Excel. So there are no um, results with just Excel. So actually it searched the different packages with Excel in the name. And here we have several. If you want more information about how to use Conda Search, here is uh, docs.conda.io. You have more information on the command. Now let's uh, return to the creation of our environment. Here we'll type Conda create dash n, and now we'll add a name for our environment. And I'll call it my underscore and underscore pi three. M P yeah, I forgot the three three M P M because I want to put um, NumPy, Pandas and Matplotlib. And now we can add the name of the packages that we would like to install in our environment. So here I'll type Python and I'll choose a certain version of Python with 3.8.2. I'll also install NumPy and uh, pandas and matplotlib. It's installing. These are all the packages that are installed. And I will just write conda activate and the name of our environment. So my underscore env underscore pi3 and pm. And here you can see that my env python3 npm environment, so we're in the right environment. Let's use conda list to see all the different packages that are installed. So how to deactivate this? We just type conda deactivate and you can see that we returned in the base environment. Now, what we're going to do is to install certain packages. So we would like to type conda install minus C and here we're going to install um, XLX, XLSX Writer. So here it is installed and we'll check this out. We'll type conda list and here we have XLSX uh, Writer. Now another interesting feature of uh, conda is to be able, once you've created an environment, to create a YAML file and to be able to share this YAML file with your colleagues. So for example, if you're working on a project and need to install the same programs on different computers to be able to work efficiently, what you can do is to, once you've created your environment, an environment that's working for this project, you can create this uh, file, export it and just send it to your colleagues. So we're going to do this. So we're going to type conda and export minus minus name and the name of our environment. So it was my underscore env underscore pi3. And we would like to create a file that is called env underscore project 2.yml. It just created the environment with the name env underscore project 2.yml. And here it is. So now one of your colleagues wants to share an environment with you because you need to work on the same project. Now you would like to install an environment that a colleague created uh, on your own computer to be able to work on the same project. So again here you will need your YAML file and you'll deploy the environment on your own computer and we'll see this just now. And here for the purpose of this uh, example, we'll first remove our environment because um, it's already on the computer, so we will not be able to install it. So let's first remove it. For this, we'll type conda remove minus minus name and uh, the name of our environment, my underscore env underscore pi3 minus my all. Here I, I'm still in the environment, so let's first type contact to activate to exit from this environment and remove it. Now this is done. Now we can check and actually do with contact and list. And we have only our base environment. My env pi3 was well removed. 
Now let's create this environment from the YAML file our colleague sent us. So we'll type conda and create minus minus file and the name of the file of our colleague, so env underscore project two dot yml. It is unpacking and creating the environment. And we'll launch the environment with the command conda activate my env py3. The name, by the way, of the environment is here, although we didn't have the name of the environment, but only the name of the file. So let's check now uh, with conda env list and we have this environment on our computer. Let's activate it. And let's list what are the different packages installed and we'll find our xlsx writer and our python 3.2 uh, 3.8.2 now we would like to remove one of the packages that we've installed because we understand that we're not going to use xlsx writer for our project so we can remove the package here we are already in the environment itself we're in my env py3 and from here we'll type conda remove xlsx writer so the name of the package and it's uh, deleting the package from the environment so we'll check this conda list and you can see that xlsx writer is not there anymore now with conda you can also update some of the packages or all of the packages in one of your environments so we're going to see this together for this i create an environment um, first i need to exit this environment so conda deactivate let's check uh, what is the environment list wrong way conda and list and here i created pi3 and in this environment which i will activate right now conda activate pi3 conda list and i've installed this python 3.8.0 and what we're going to do now is to update this package so we type conda update python and it's updating towards the package 3.8.3. We can also decide to update the package, uh, all the packages. And for this, we'll write conda update minus minus all. Here, all the packages are already installed and up to date. So we have this message, but it would work all the way the same. Now we would like to update the whole conda. So what we're going to do is to type conda update minus n base the minus c defaults conda. And it is now updating the whole conda. And to check this, we'll type conda minus minus version. And we see that we are in conda 4.8.3 we were in the conda 4.8.2 just before now we want to remove an environment what we're going to do is here to remove my env python 3 and which is here and we're going to type conda remove minus minus name the name of our environment my underscore and underscore pi3 minus minus all and to check this we'll type conda and list and we see that um, it disappeared so we removed this environment if you want more information about the different uh, commands that you can use with conda here you have a sheet sheet it is for conda 4.6 but it's still working with conda 4.8 that's it, folks. If you enjoyed the video, you can like it. If you didn't enjoy it, you can also say it. You can add a comment in the comment box below if you have any comment to, to give us. If you want to be informed about new videos coming out, you can subscribe to the channel. Have a beautiful day and see you.